everything. Chapter 1 verse 1. He says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in it he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves never wither, that bears fruit in his season, and whatsoever he does, he shall prosper. Am I talking to somebody? Can I have it, Dennis, if we can get it? Psalms chapter 1. If you have it in your Bible open, to some pamoja. My assignment is simple. Na tutamaliza tu kwa dakika chache. If God sent me today to remind you that, then let it be in the name of Jesus. Psalms chapter number 1, verse 1. If you can sema amen. It says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, or sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight, tell your neighbor delight. Yan yeye tamanio yake ni kuka katika neno la bwana. Watu wengi tamanio yenu ni Facebook. Ni kujua blogger alisema na nini. Get out of there. That is carnality. Ambia jirani toka hapo. There it is. Can we read? One, two, read. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Verse 2. Verse 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. It says, verse 2, 1, 2, 3, read, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Verse 3, verse 3, he shall be like a tree. Verse 3, it says, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaves also will not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Do you want to prosper? Stay in the word. Munatafuta utajiri mahali kwingi na mambo mengi. The Bible says if you want to prosper, stay in the meditation of the word. See mambo mengi. That is what Bishop is teaching every day. Rudia yo biblia kanayo. Sit on Psalms 23. Kama umeka kwa madeni. Ka hapo. Confess it Monday to Saturday. See whether God will not send you help. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Ukiwa kwa gari. Message ya fuliza inaingia ina kukumbusha deni. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Kuna shailo kambayo ulienda kwa ke ukakopo umeshindwa kulipa. Ana kusumbua na masimu. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. As you are doing that, your delight is in the law of the Lord. I tell you shortly, your help must come. Everything pertaining life and godliness, God has hidden it in his word. Na ndiyo mana shetani ya meakikisha bibili ya zenu mmezieka mbali. So that you don't study the Bible. And the fact you put your Bible from you, the further you keep your blessing. Make a covenant with that book. And if you don't have it, after this service, if you have money, go buy. Am I talking to somebody? Kuna mtu ni mesaidia leo. Have I helped somebody? You may be seated in Jesus' name. Allow me to introduce the topic of the day very, very fast. And God is going to bless us in the name of Jesus. I want to talk briefly. Now, wow, our time is gone. Our time is very gone, but I will try my best. I want to talk about closing the gates of your past. 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 If you are writing right, closing the gates of your past. We have spoken vitu mingi sita ingia kwa recap because of time. You will go and watch all the other sermons the Wednesday na Sunday na last week na mungu atakubariki. What is your past? Your past are all the events, activities and things that happened yesterday and the days before. Your past are all the events and activities that happened yesterday 
and the days before. And everybody who is here has a past. Tell your neighbor you have a past. Ukona jana yako katika jina la Yesu. There is nobody who is born of flesh and blood that does not have a past. And your past can become a hindrance to your destiny and to your future. Your past, if you are writing right, can become a hindrance to your destiny and to your future. So if you don't deal with your past, then manifesting your potential will become a difficult thing. Am I talking to somebody? God spoke to us and told us that November is the month of manifesting our potential. But for that potential to be manifested, there are certain things that have to be dealt with. And one of them is your past. Uliza Jirani, how was your past? Ilikuwa mzuri ama ni mbaya? Wangapi walikuwa na past mbaya? Jana yako ilikuwa mbaya sana. Yaani when you look at your past, you cannot recount the records. How many can say their past was ugly? Me my past haijakuwa mzuri sana. Am I talking to somebody? So if you don't silence the past, if you don't deal with the past, if you don't work out the past, your past will appear in your future and it is going to kill your destiny. Am I talking to somebody? Kuna mtu ninaongelesha mahali hapa. Isaiah 43 verse number 18. I think Reverend Rutanisomea natumia tu dakika 20 because our time is well spent. It says do not remember the former things. Isaiah 43 verse number 18. Read for me very fast. Isaiah chapter 43 and verses number 18. Yes. It says do not remember the former things mm -hmm. nor consider the things of old. Behold, I'll do a new thing. Mm -hmm. Now it shall spring forth. Mm -hmm. Shall you not know it? Mm -hmm. I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Amen. It says, do not remember the former things. What does the Bible mean by do not remember? It means you visit them, you silence them, you kill the records of the past so that it can make rivers in the desert. One as if you it says, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Verse 19. For behold, the Lord is doing a new thing. Verse 19. It says, Do you not perceive it? It says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Hallelujah. Now it shall spring forth. Do you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness. Ambia jirani kuna njia inatengenezwa katika jangwa and rivers in the desert. For you who is in a wilderness, I speak as a man of God on this altar. May God begin to make a river. May he begin to make a road. May he begin to make a way. May he begin to open a door. May he begin to bring the miracle and the breakthrough. As you deal with your past a new door, a new way is going to manifest for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you see how the past can hinder your doors? It says, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, I'm doing a new thing. I will make a river in the desert. Maalipale umeka, umeko samsaada. Panaonekana ni jangwa na ukame na mambo yote mangumu. Maandiko ya nasema, hapo ni tachipua kisima. When you deal with your past. Praise the name of God. Tell your neighbor today, we are dealing with the past. We are dealing with the past. Hallelujah. There are different levels of the past that we need to deal with. So I want you to write examples of the past that we need to deal with. Examples of the past. Masayangu ni machache, so I'm trying to rush na kukata mambo mengi. Examples of the past that you need to deal with. Mambo ya kale ambayo unafaa kudeal nayo. Number one. Number one. The records of your mother's womb. The records, Pastor Susan, of your mother's womb, Sami. The records of your mother's womb. Can I go deep on that point? Hakuna mtu hapa hakupitia tumbo ya mama. Wana asifiwe. Kuna mtu hapa alikuja bila tumbo ya mama. Alianguka kutoka binguni. <laughs> oh, likuja tu, you landed. Kuja kama nyoni, ukaburuka, ukaanguka kayole, ukaanza maisha. No, you came from your mother's womb. 
Now here is the thing. Niangalie ni kueleze. Here is the thing. Some of us when we were in our mother's womb, wakati mama zetu walipata mimba zetu. One, our mothers, some of them never expected that pregnancy. Hello? Bwana asifiwe. Even you here, wengine wenu ni wazazi. That pregnancy ya huyo mtoto ambaye ameishi saa hii akona miaka ile yako nayo. Probably you never planned for it. Hello? Wangapi wanaweza sema hivyo? Hiyo mimba ilikuja, oops. Ingine ilikuja na njia ambayo ifai. Ingine ilikuja au ulikuwa unajaribu kuweka huyo mzee. So you became pregnant for him, trying to see whether this pregnancy itamkalisha. And so when you are in your mother's womb, number one, you don't understand the circumstance of how you were born, how you were conceived, that is. So what happened is, in the nine months that you spent in your mother's womb, there was strife. Kulikuwa na mvutano. Watu walikuwa na piga kelele, hii mimba, hii mimba. Mama yako alikuwa anapiga kelele. Hii mimba imeniondoa kwa mambo mengi. Hii mimba imeniletea kisirani. Hii mimba huyu mtoto sikuwa nimepanga. Am I talking to somebody? There was strife. Am I making sense today? And that strife, hiyo kelele ambayo mama yako alikuwa anapiga ukiwa kwa tumbo yake, ambaye baba yako alikuwa anapiga ukiwa kwa tumbo yake, ambaye watu wenu walikuwa wanapiga ukiwa kwa tumbo ya mama, that strife if it is not dealt with, you will discover in life you will be living a life of strife. Genesis 25 verse 23. This is Rebecca. Rebecca had been barren for a long time. Rebecca was the wife of Isaac. He had, she had been barren for a long time. The Bible says Isaac married her when he was 40 years old but she was barren he prayed for her and when Isaac was 60 years old that is when Rebecca gave birth a barrenness of 20 years and the Bible says there were twins in her womb there was Esau and there was Jacob And the Bible says in Genesis 25, 22-23 that these two children strive with each other in the womb. Wengine wenu ile mahangaiko mnapitia leo. There it is. Uh, can we go to 22? 22 Dennis, if we can get it. 22. It says, and these two children strived, but the children struggled together within her. And she said, if all is well, why am I like this? So she went to inquire of the Lord. They struggled in the womb. When you struggled, if your mother was to tell you the story, she struggled with you when you were in her womb. Bwana asifiwe. Na ukiangalia historia ya hawa vijana wawili, I don't have time. So when you go through the history of these children, Asao and Jacob, you will discover maisha yao yote ilikuwa ni mangangano. Praise the name of God. Wengine wenu hapa utasema mimi nilipobeba mimba ya mtoto wangu ilikuwa ni mngangano. And if that thing that past is not dealt with, you will discover huyo mtoto ataishi mngangano inua mikono yako juu. Sema Bwana Yesu mngangano wote ambao nilipitia nikiwa kwa tumbo ya mama yangu na hiyo mngangano ndio inaniandama hata siku ya leo ninaunyamazisha kwa damu ya Yesu simama na miguu yako nyamazisha huo mngangano maneno yote mabaya mama yako aliongea wakati alikuwa na mimba yako maneno yote mabaya baba yako aliongea wakati ulikuwa kwa tumbo ya mama ikale tamngangano nyamazisha can i hear somebody pray deal with that past and this strife that was there when i was in my mother's womb any argument any cursing any conflict any negativity any evil words any evil communication that was happening when i was in my mother's womb ikanifungia anga ikaachilia roho ya mngangano leo kwa jina la yesu nimenyamazisha hiyo ngano can you pray wengine mama zenu walijaribu kutoa mimba yenu walijaribu kukutoa they try to abort you but you never got aborted but that record in your past was not dealt with begin to tell god any evil that happened when i was in my mother's womb for nine months any negative words my mother said any negative words my father said any negative words people spoke about me when i was in my mother's womb i silenced 
curse them. I destroy them. I uproot them. I cancel them. I nullify them. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Any strife that was there when your mother carried you, any hunger that she went through, any bitterness that she went through, any rejection that she went through, and she transferred it to you in your mother's womb. Curse it now. Break it now. Destroy it now. Disconnect yourself in the name of Jesus. Words of regret. Words of bitterness. Words of evil that my mother spoke when she carried me in her womb for nine months. And those words are fighting me and speaking against me by the blood of Jesus. I cancel them. I nullify them. I destroy them. I uproot them. I render them null and void in the name of Jesus. Shika tumbo yako. Wengine wetu kama wazazi. Wakati tulisikia tumeshika mimba. Uwe wewe ni mzee ama wewe ni mama. Pengine uliteta kuhusu huyo mtoto. Am I talking to mature people? Pengine uliteta ukasema sikuwa nimempangia already. You have introduced rejection to that child. Begin to tell God. Mbegu yangu wakati ilikuwa kwa tumbo kama kuna maneno niliongea ama watu wetu waliongea ama jamii iliongea kinyume na watoto wangu wakiwa kwa tumbo nimenyamazisha hayo maneno nyamazisha anza kuwataja na majina maneno yote yaliongewa maneno ya kisirani maneno ya kukataa maneno ya kupinga maneno ya kudhalilisha hiyo mimba maneno ya kudhalilisha huyo mtoto manunguniko yaliyotoka kijijini manunguniko kwa yaliongewa na shosho na guka na mama na baba na maanko na mabrada na masista na majirani kinyume na watoto wako hayo manungu niko leo tunayanyamazisha tunayatembelea tunayanyamazisha silence them now that strive silence you are praying for the destiny of your children whatever was said when you are pregnant when you are expectant of those children evil words hawatafaulu hawataenda mbali hawatajisaidia watakuwa omba omba wataishi maisha ya mateso tumenyamazisha hayo maneno tumenyamazisha hiyo kelele tumenyamazisha hiyo mvutano we silence those negative words we decree and declare any evil that operated in the womb is rendered null and void in Jesus mighty name amen ninua mikono yako juu sema bwana yesu nimetakasa uzao wa tumbo yangu kutoka mabaya yote kwa tumbo yangu nimetangaza wametakaswa wamewekwa huru in Jesus name amen you may be seated point number two, i'm trying to rush because of time hallelujah 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 number one, tumesema It is your past when you are in your mother's womb. Number two, on the day you are born. You are past on the day you are born. You are past on the day you are born. Can I go deeper? The day you are born determined many things. Because when you are coming out of your mother's womb, there were spirits that were there witnessing. It was not only a physical birth where there is a midwife or a nurse or a doctor. There were spirits that were watching. Can I go deeper? The first world that you lived in was the world of water. Wakati mama anaenda kujifungua, nini kinatokanga kwanza? Ni maji. So your first world was the world of water. And where there is water, there are spirits that dwell there. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 and the spirit of God hovered over the waters and God said let there be light so wakingine wetu tulipokuwa tunazaliwa there were evil spirits ancestral spirits generational spirits that were monitoring spirits of witchcraft ambazo zilikuwa zinaona kile kinazaliwa can i go deeper 
the midwife that received you wengine si kila mtu but wengine mlipokelewa na midwife ambaye mikono yake ni ya kuavia na ya kuua there are midwives who carry an evil spirit of killing in the days of pharaoh he said if it is a boy kill am i talking to somebody so weza kulipokelewa na mtu ambaye hakukuua physically but spiritually aliua nyota praise the name of god and you were born and you began living but something in you was killed on the day you were born wengine wakati ulizaliwa wewe ulizaliwa kwa nyumba ama ni kwa hospitali waliokuja kukuona wakasema oh katoto some of them they didn't have a good motive so while they were looking at you they were looking at you with an evil eye and they cast your destiny at that juncture praise the name of god ezekiel 16 verse 1 ezekiel chapter number 16 verse 1 ezekiel 16 verse number 1 There are things that need to happen when you are born. Ezekiel 16:1 The Bible says, Again the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations and say verse 3. Thus says the Lord God to Jerusalem, Your birth and your nativity are from the land of Canaan. Your father was an Amorite. You are mother a Hittite. As for your nativity on the day you were born, your navel cord was not cut. No were you washed in water to cleanse you. No were you rubbed with salt or swaddled in swaddling clothes. Verse 5. No I pitied you to do any of these things for you, to have compassion on you. But you were thrown out into the open field. When you yourself were loathed on the day you were born and when I passed by you I saw you struggling in your own blood and I said to you in your blood live yes I said to you in your blood live bwana sifiwe ulizaliwa ndio ukapokelewa na mama yako ndio na watu wenu but this is what happened in the spirit you were cast out haleluya the bible says you were cast out in the open field kwa hivyo ulirushiwa roho ya rejection ile siku ulizaliwa ingawaje mama yako mzazi amekushika anakunyonyesha lakini katika anga ya kiroho you are removed from the place of blessing ukarushwa mahali pa mngangano and that is why unapata mtoto wa mwaka moja kuna kosa chakula kwa nyumba hello bwana asifiwe two year old kid sleeping hungry Mama amekosa namna why it is because this child in the spirit was cast out Inua mikono yako juu Sema mikono yoyote iliyonipokea wakati nilizaliwa ikaua nyota yangu maisha yangu anga yangu leo kwa jina la Yesu hiyo mikono popote ilipo na ivunja vunja simama na miguu yako vunja vunja hiyo mikono chochote iliiba ikashika nyota ikashika anga ikashika afya ikashika maisha ikashika masomo ikashika pesa wakati ulizaliwa hiyo mikono dakika hii vunja vunja break those evil hands break them now kuna nyota za watu ambazo zimeshikwa kuna anga za watu ambazo zimeshikwa kuna maisha ya watu ambayo imeshikwa kuna afya ya watu ambayo imeshikwa kuna destiny za watu ambazo zimeshikwa na zimeshikwa na watu walio kubeba walio kupokea wakati ulizaliwa leo kwa jina la Yesu hiyo mikono ya wachawi na waganga break them now break them now they must lose your destiny your career your vision your identity chochote kilishika anga yako baraka yako maono yako maisha yako kikakataa na wewe arabaka taba vunja hiyo mikono break those evil hands whatever they are holding whatever they are touching whatever they are caging break those hands break 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 them in the spirit in the name of jesus sema bwana yesu 
roho yoyote ya rejection niliyotupiwa wakati nilizaliwa katika jina la Yesu kwa damu ya Yesu na iondoa jiondole kamashke dila baada ondoa hiyo rejection unapitia rejection uliorushiwa siku uliozaliwa remove it now that rejection that fell of rejection that spirit of rejection that came on me on the day I was born I remove it I uproot it I eliminate it I cast it I destroy it rejection leave me now lose me now and tie me now aparepa sata in the name of Jesus Christ inua mikono yako juu sema bwana Yesu kutoka leo na rejesha nyota yangu anga yangu kibali changu na baraka zangu rejesha sasa kutoka leo rejesha anga yangu baraka yangu kibali changu maisha yangu maono yangu yaliyoibiwa wakati nilizaliwa rejesha 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 can you restore whatever was taken from you in the day of birth restore your star restore Restore your glory, restore your health, restore your identity, restore your joy, restore your peace, restore your blessing, restore whatever was taken by an evil midwife, by wicked men, whatever they stole on the day you were born, restore it now, your identity, your glory, your beauty, your potential, your health, your star, be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored. Be restored in the name of Jesus inua mikono yako juu Sema Bwana Yesu maroho yote machafu yalionifuata wakati nilizaliwa yakaandamana na mimi hadi siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu na yatawanya na njia saba tawanya hayo maroho maroho yote yaliyokuandama ya uchawi na uganga ya uzito na kulemewa ya kifo na magonjwa ya kisirani na mateso siku uliozaliwa yakaandamana na wewe yakakuwa na wewe baada ya kukua yanaendelea kupelekana na wewe yatawanye kwa njia saba maroho ya kisirani maroho ya magonjwa maroho ya mahangaiko maroho ya kutoendelea skata 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 any demon any spirit that followed you on the day you were born and has been walking with you until today skata by fire 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 demons of rejection demons of poverty demons of limitation demons of frustration demons of emptiness demons of loneliness demons of wickedness demons of evil scatter 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 in the name of jesus Pekelea mkono kwa kitovu chako. Sema Bwana Yesu, nimekatanisha kitovu hiki na ukoo wa mama yangu na ukoo wa baba yangu. Katanisha sasa. Kata hicho kitovu, ukoo wa madeni, ukoo wa kifo, ukoo wa blood pressure, ukoo wa kansa, ukoo wa diabetes, ukoo wa umaskini, ukoo wa kutoelewa, ukoo wa slavery. Katanisha, katanisha, disconnect your nerve God in the spirit in the physical from the lineage of your father from the lineage of your mother disconnect can I see people pray disconnect disconnect katae patila magada eshatala maragita tela imakata zekete chochote kinakulanga watu kwenu na kinakufikianga kupitia kitovu chako katanisha kwa upanga wa roho kata 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 hicho kitovu cha kutoendelea cha kifo cha mapema cha mahangaiko cha slavery cha kutojisaidia kata 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 katika jina la Yesu Kristo wekelea mkono kwa hicho kitovu sema bwana Yesu nimeunganisha kitovu changu na kitovu cha Kristo kutoka leo mema ya Kristo yaniandame 
katika jina la Yesu anza kuitisha mema ya Kristo kibali chake baraka zake uhai wake neema yake utajiri wake afya yake uzima wake kuinuliwa kwake baraka zake zinazotajirisha zisizo na uzuni zieniandamne katika jina la Yesu be seated I'm almost done Are you getting blessed? Adashke bahari azide. Thank you Lord. Wow, oh, hallelujah. Your past when you were growing up. Your past when you were growing up. Tulianza na your past when you were in your mother's womb. Ukakuja ya pili your past on the day you were born. Number three, you are past when you are growing up. If you are writing right, I'm almost finishing. You are past when you are growing up. Some of you here, the days you are growing up, wakati ulifika hii age, ya watoto kama hawa, ukaanza kujielewa, ukaanza kujijua, you began to discover that unaone wangu wa sana. Wanga pia pa walipitia kuonewa nyumbani. Wewe uliku unaonewa sana. Huko unapendwa you are always isolated chakula ulikuwa unapewa wa mwisho kazi nzito za nyumba ni wewe ulikuwa unafanya you went through a lot of rejection can i go deeper school fees ilikosa wangapi walipitia hiyo school fees no school fees so you would be in school for a few days and then you are out of school because there was no school fees bwana asifiwe there was something that was being cut off from your destiny some of you here ulikuwa unakaanga ukiumia umia how many ulikuwa unamuumia umia leo ni kidonda mguu kesho ni kidonda mkono you are always getting hurt there was always an open sore in your body i was that kind of boy vidonda singe kaa bila kidonda there was always blood you are always nose bleeding how many here went through nose bleeding when you were a kid those who are covenants that were demanding blood altars that were demanding blood bwana asifiwe and because you were a child you wouldn't understand you thought it was normal ungeenda uweke bandage ufanye kile unafanya kidonda ipone kesho kutokea ingine am i talking to somebody so these things were happening when you were growing up you went through many accidents you went through many incidents you went through rejection you went through lack of food Easy V2 if you don't deal with them then they come to haunt you in future Some of you here the way you missed food as a child is the way you struggle to eat How many can agree Ivo ivo tu vile ulikuwa unakosanga chakula ukiwa mtoto Even now as an adult you have to struggle to eat Am I talking to somebody If you don't deal with that past you will find yourself 60 years old you are still struggling for food God forbid it in the name of Jesus. So he's a vitu tulipitia when we were young. Don't take them for granted. They were shaping something in your future. That is why you have to visit your past when you are growing up. Can I go deeper? Some of you went through rape. You were molested by somebody. Don't lift your hand. Sita uliza hapo. You were molested by some, somebody raped you. They took advantage of your innocence. Some of you uliekelewa vitu. Wengine hapa mlienda mkachanjwa. Ah? Praise the name of God. Kakatakatwa ukaekelewa vitu ni protection. Wengine hapa mkapakwa mafuta za ngurue. Am I talking to somebody? If you don't deal with these things, they come back in your future to haunt you. That is why when you are sleeping uko Nairobi you still dream and you see yourself in the primary school in the village because there is something in your past that is talking praise the name of god there is something in your past that is speaking some of you here covenants of food during family gatherings there is food that was given but this food had something else in it and when you ate that food even today in your dream you still dreaming eating food God is communicating something through your dreams that there is some evil food you ate. Hallelujah. 
Bwana asifiwe. And if you don't deal with these things in your past, they will keep hindering your future. Some of you when you were growing up, you were the custodian of the shrine. Unaona mahali pale kwenu penye palikuwa panachinjiwa, panamwa gwadamu of your ovyo. Wewe ulikuanga hapo. Pengine hata huko unamwaga damu, unaangalia tu, unaona vitu wanafanya. Now the spirit of that shrine it began to follow you. So familiar spirits are ever with you. You are always dreaming ukipigwa, ukikimbizwa, ukihangaishwa. Things happened when you were growing up. Judges 11. Judges chapter number 11. See the life of a young man. Judges chapter number 11. I'm almost done. Nataka kuharakisha. Judges chapter 11 verse 1. Talks about Jephthah. The Bible says, now Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty man of valor, but he was the son of a harlot, and Gilead begot Jephthah. Gilead's wife bore sons, and when his wife's sons grew up, they drove Jephthah out and said to him, you shall have no inheritance in our father's house, for you are the son of another woman. Bwana asifiwe. Huyu ni Jephthah, amezaliwa kwa boma. He ni boma ambayo yuko na potential. But because he was the son of a harlot, the Bible says the brothers rose up in his youthful days and they drove him out. Jephthah went through rejection. The Bible says he went and formed a mighty army, but he was going through rejection. Inuwa mikono ya kochu. Sema buwana yesu. Maovu yote yaliyo nitendekea nilipokuwa nikikua kama kijana kama msichana na yananiandama siku ya leo kwa damu ya Yesu nimenyamazisha hayo maovu simama na miguu yako nyamazisha maovu yote ulipitia kulala njaa kukosa kodi ya nyumba kukosa karo ya shule kuinukiwa kudhalilishwa kuharibiwa anga hayo maovu begin to silence them now any evil that you went through when you were growing up, bloodshed, nose bleeding, open wombs in your body, begin to tell God you are silencing. I want to see people pray. This is serious business. We are doing spiritual transaction. Any record, uliachwa na mama yako, akaenda mbali, ukalelewa na shosho, wakati ulikuwa mchanga. Iyo ni madhabau ya kuachwa, ambaye uliwekewa, muambie boana katika jina la Yesu, chochote kilikuwa ni tendekea katika uchanga wangu katika kukuwa kwangu na kinanizuia leo i break that curse haukupata nafasi ya kuenda shule unagundua siku ya leo kusomesha watoto wako ni shida they are always away from school because of lack of school fees because you also never had school fees it is an evil pattern that was formed taja hayo mabaya yote uliopitia some of you went through rape you were taken advantage of. Silence those events. Silence those occurrences. Some of you, you are hated by your mother, by your father, by your sisters. That rejection became an evil altar that is fighting you today. Silence it now by the blood of Jesus. Some of you were raised by your stepfather, by your stepmother, and they molested you. Walikulilisha, wakakupitisha halingumu, na imekuwa machozi, na iyo roo hadi leo, inafanya ulilishwe na watu, kwa damu ya Yesu nyamazisha iyo roo kwa damu ya Yesu, kemea iyo roo, some of you are number last ulikuwa tuwe ndiyo mkia haunge wa iyo ngoza na hata sahi kwa maisha, you are always last, begin to tell God I break that cycle I break that spirit, I break that chain, I break that pattern I visit my teenage life my life in the 20s my life in the 30s, visit Visit, visit, visit. Before you got born again, you lived a very bad life. Begin to tell God, Hayo maovu yote, kwa damni ya Yesu, nimea tembelea, nimea nyamazisha, nimea ondoa, katika jina la Yesu. Inuwa mikono ya koju. Sema kuinukiwa kote. Niliko inukiwa na watu wetu 
nilipokuwa mdogo na hiyo roho imenifuata leo na kanga nikiinukiwa na watu wote katika jina la Yesu na kemea hiyo roho kemea hiyo roho roho ya kuinukiwa roho ya kudharauliwa roho ya kuchukiwa roho ya kuchekelewa iliyoanza uchangani na hata saa hii inakuwa ndama ikene ipinge iaribu idalilishe ikatae iaribu kataba kata eketeba kata ekereba shata hautainukiwa tena hautaendea hiyo madhabahu ya kuinukiwa ya kudalilishwa ikatae katae katae uliinukiwa ya kutosha nyamazisha hiyo roho nyamazisha hiyo madhabahu namazisha hiyo pattern nyamazisha hiyo ngombe inyamazishe hiyo roho ya kuinukiwa skata it now 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 you are praying well in the name of Jesus inua mikono yako juu sema roho yoyote ya kukosa iliyoingia kwa maisha yangu nikiwa mtoto mdogo na imeniandama hadi nikiwa mtu mzima leo kwa jina la Yesu nimelaani hiyo roho katika jina la Yesu laani hiyo roho roho ya kukosa ulikosa ukiwa mtoto ukalala njaa ukiwa mtoto ukakasa karo ya shule ukiwa mtoto mkafungiwa nyumba mkiwa watoto na hata saa hii unapungukiwa unakosa visit the spirit in your past break it now destroy it now rebuke it now cast it now paralyze it now dismantle it now hautaandamwa na hiyo roho tena roho ya umaskini roho ya kutembea migutupu roho ya kulala njaa kuhangaika kata 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 refuse it now the spirit of emptiness the spirit of struggle the spirit of hardship in your childhood that has followed you as an adult break it now 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 in the name of jesus inua mikono yako juu sema tabia yoyote niliyofundishwa nikiwa mtoto ikiwa ni tabia mbaya ikaniharibia misingi yangu leo kwa jina la Yesu nimengoa hiyo tabia na mizizi yake ngoa hiyo tabia wengine mliingizwa tabia ya uongo wengine mliingizwa tabia ya usherati wengine mliingizwa tabia ya hasira wengine mliingizwa tabia ya ulevi wengine mliingizwa tabia ya utapeli na hiyo tabia inakusumbua hauwezi simama kwa njia za Mungu uproot now that evil habit that evil character uproot uproot ingine hata unaiona ndani ya watoto wako wanakunywa pombe wanavuta bangi wanafanya usherati ngoa hiyo tabia ilianza na wewe iliingilia watoto ingawaje uliokoka bado inaandama maisha inaandama watoto uproot it now that evil habit that evil character uproot 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 character of lies character of deception character of immorality character of lust character of wickedness that was introduced in my life as a child i uproot i uproot i uproot i uproot i uproot i uproot